Blackfish claims that SeaWorld is driving orcas insane. Is it true? Let's take a look at orca brains. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. So I don't have any actual orca brains for you to look at, but what's going on inside of them is definitely an important question in light of the release of Blackfish. The basic premise of the documentary is this. Orcas, AKA killer whales, shouldn't be held in captivity or used for entertainment by companies like SeaWorld because they're highly intelligent animals. Being kept in such a tiny pool when the whales are used to swimming 100 plus miles a day taxes their physical health and drives the whales mad with frustration. It may even psychologically traumatize them, and this results in the whales acting out by injuring or even killing people, something that's never been documented in the wild. The documentary brings up a lot of questions. How smart are these animals anyway? And is it true that the whales in captivity are psychologically traumatized? So to explore these questions, a little known fact, orcas belong to the dolphin family. And well known fact, bottlenose dolphins are the second smartest mammals in the animal kingdom, coming in second after humans, of course, because we rule. This means that by current scientific measures, whales and dolphins are the two animals coming closest to humans in intelligence. This is because areas of the orca's brain associated with social complexity, self-awareness, and emotional capacity are all highly developed. The whales have complex social structures comparable only to higher primates like humans and chimps. They travel in pods with their families and stay alongside their immediate family for life. Sometimes there are three or four generations or 50 whales traveling together. So orcas use whistles, clicks, calls, pops, and jaw claps to communicate with each other, but then within each pod, there are unique variations which forms their own little dialect. The behavior of the whales in the pod suggests that they may have developed social cohesion, like its pod is an extension of itself. For instance, they share food within the pod to make sure everyone's fed. When a whale is sick or injured, other whales in the pod will hold them up near the surface so that they can breathe. And if the injured member heads to shore, the whole pod follows. There's also this mysterious phenomenon called mass strandings, where all the orcas in a pod will cast themselves onto the shore and usually die, as if to commit mass suicide. And if a male orca's mother dies, he refuses to eat, becoming withdrawn, and he often dies himself. So on the lighter side of things, when the animals engage in rough play, they've been seen patting their playmate's head with their fin as if to say, don't worry dude, it's all cool. Orcas also have an amazingly integrated auditory and visual regions of the brain. So this means that their echolocation game is so on point that they can track not only fish, but specific species of fish, like their favorite Chinook salmon, from really far away. So I think that the whale's emotional intelligence is the most intriguing, and it lays at the heart of Blackfish's anti-captivity message. The ability to feel, to know not just physical pain, but emotional pain, suggests that there's something kind of questionable about using animals to entertain humans. MRI scans of the orca's brains have shown that they have extensive development and deep folds in the insular cortex, the temporal operculum, and the cortical limbic lobe, much like the human brain. This accounts for the whale's complex communication, their unique social cultures, and while it's significantly harder to study, it would suggest that orcas have an advanced ability for emotional processing. So from what I can tell, it isn't some radical exaggeration to say that these highly intelligent, sophisticated animals are being driven crazy in captivity. Just just like a human would. Let me know what you think about all of this down below or on our Facebook page, and we'll be back soon with more D News.